Yo guys, what is up? I wanted to go through a little bit of uh, settings, tweaking that you can use to make your camera look really, really good. I'm going to show you the difference between my camera before these settings and after these settings. I'm just going to do that right now. I'm going to my filters, going to my color correction. This is what it looks like. Alright, I'm going to teach you just how to do this in uh, about five minutes or so, so stay tuned and let's get into the video. Before I get into all that though, I stream every other Monday, Wednesday, Friday on Twitch. Link is in the description below. If you have any time, uh, just free time and you just want to, you know, chill out, have a great place to chill and chat and to have a fun time, uh, make sure you go check that out. I do a lot of just chatting and I play some Valorant as well, so if you're into that, go check it out. Oh, and also make sure if you do enjoy this video, like, subscribe, comment, turn on that bell, all, 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 the, all the good stuff. But now that we uh, got that out of the way, let's get right into the video. So I'm going to start off by making a new scene, but just so you know, you can do this at any point where your video capture device is active, and then you can use that on any different any different scene, and it'll be right there. So I'm just going to make this and call it uh, face cam. Face chasm, I'd rather not do that. Then I'm going to add a video to capture device, and I'm going to add my video capture device. Yes, this is the exact same one, but also... Uh, you want to configure these video settings just a little bit. Make sure you go to custom, resolution. I like to do 1280 by 720, it just makes it a little bit better for me. I do highest FPS, but I would recommend going 30 if you have like an okay PC. Video format, always make it in JPEG because if you have any struggles with lag or anything like that, that'll completely fix it. So you're in this, this thing right here at the moment. You wanna go into filters you want to add a color correction filter. Premiere, you want to turn your gamma down just a bit. Then you want to turn your contrast up just a bit. You may, this is all like personal preference. Make sure you're doing this to, you know, your, your room, because I can't tell you everything, but this is what I would do. Turn your contrast up just a bit. Contrast is definitely going to make a huge difference. Turn your saturation up just a bit, but don't go too high, you're going to look stupid. That's reason up just a bit. Brightness down just a bit, just like a little tiny bit, like three. And then I'm gonna turn my gamma up just a little bit after that. There we go. 20, and there we go. It's done. Uh, I know they didn't look like much, but if you go back and look, that is a huge, huge difference. That's like thousands of dollars with the camera upgrades in just one second. I hope you found that informative in some way, but also make sure to pick up a key light. I'll leave a link in the description below for one. Uh, a key light and a stand, I believe, will be in the description. That's what I have. And you want one right behind your camera or just a little bit offset from your camera. And then one also maybe to the left or to the right of you, no matter like, depending on your camera situation to really accentuate your angles for one, but also differentiate, differentiate between you and the background. So. Yeah, and then this one's just to light up your face. Hope you guys found that informative. I really hope this helped you out. And if it did, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and check out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash I stream every other Monday, Wednesday, Friday. All right, hope you guys have an absolutely amazing rest of your day.